Hey guys, Shao Style or Joe the Editor, however you know me as. Either way, thanks for watching the video. And I got a, I guess another quick video here. Trying to keep the rhythm of making, you know, almost daily uploads if possible, but not daily at the same time, if that makes no so fucking sense anyways. All right, so um, little by little, I noticed that I've been getting like a few subscribers every now and then. And I do appreciate that, you know. Most likely, obviously, I'm pretty sure the people that are subscribing, they know me through, you know, either, you know, many editing through Paw, right? So... So since I'm his editor, then I assume people are just expect more editing-like content from me, and, you know, that's fair. However, the thing with me is that, like, uh, <laughs> I think I also mentioned before is that I do intend to make videos, but I do intend to make these videos as short as possible in regards to both time for the viewer and for production reasons myself. If I can define a system that I can produce a video in under two hours, then that's pretty much my main goal. My main goal is <laughs> in total one hour, right, from, like, the moment I talk on camera or or on the mic, then I edit and then I, you know, render and upload. If I can do all the shit under an hour, that's pretty fucking badass, you know, in my eyes. And one video that I did recently, I showed you how I edit using uh, macros and whatnot. And uh, the thing is that, like, that video took me almost like six hours to, like, you know, get together, you know, from filming to rendering and editing and all that shit. And, like, I was like, ah, fuck. I make these videos because I do want to share what I know and, you know, help out and also for recreational reasons. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to kill myself by making these fucking videos. Videos, you know, and you know, using up a lot of my time, you know, because uh, yeah, yeah, fuck with that. <laughs> I like you guys, but you know, not spending eight hours a day and edit a video, which you know, hey, that's what usually it takes, you know. Pause video usually takes like an average uh, six to eight hours, you know, depending. Sometimes, like, uh, if it's a very complex video, it could take up to 10 hours, right? But for the most part, like, the editing part, I can get it down really quickly. It's just like, uh, you know, finding images, adding, like, maybe animations, you know, uh, searching information or with the right image to add, to, depending on what talk Paul's talking about. So, you know, they do take time, right? So, anyways, on to the topic of this video. And the topic of this video is share that I learned from editing YouTube videos. When I started editing videos, I had like that cinematic outlook on things. I wanted to like be a, you know, important filmmaker and make all kinds of cool shit and whatnot and, you know, make everything look as realistic as possible and, you know, just spend the time on doing this and that. Ironically, when I started editing videos for YouTubers, the skill set and the sense of editing is there, but like the whole approach of it is way different. YouTube, a lot of the shit is forgiven and as long as everything is entertainment value. Now, um, I remember it was Kyle from Bitwood. Like, you know, he was one of the first people I started working with before I started working with Paul. And like, he wanted me to do like a VFX, you know, for one of his videos. And he wanted to be a cheesy, corny style VFX, you know, because he just, you know, he preferred that look, right? And I actually, I got offended <laughs> because, you know, I was like, fuck, you know, here I am spending all this time and, you know, research and practice to make something look as good as possible. And yet, you know, someone like him or just anyone in general comes up to me and be like, hey, you can make a video fix, but you can make it look corny as shit. And, you know, and it actually bothered me. And it was, I did find a middle ground in the sense, like, uh, I did still make it look good, but I didn't, like, you know, put the extra detail into it or whatever. I mean, he was happy with it. And uh, so was I. But the thing is, like, that's one of like, the main things I learned with uh, YouTube is that a lot of shit can be forgiven as long as it's funny, you know? However, the main thing that is not forgivable is bad audio. So if you're starting to edit or you, you want, you're thinking about starting to do videos, like uh, editing-wise, maybe the good thing is you probably don't need to worry too much about it in the sense of like, uh, you're not sure how to edit well and why not focus on getting good audio. So maybe before investing in a very good expensive camera, I mean, it may help. But I think it's more important that people uh, invest in a good like uh, audio setup, a good microphone, right? And, you know, bad audio quality is not forgivable. However, like a bad editing, it's almost enjoyed or celebrated in a sense, you know, there's plenty of like videos or, you know, comedy channels that like, you know, they do purposely fuck up like the footage just for comedic reasons, right? So, I mean, you can't do that. So, I don't know, I guess that's the main point of this video is basically it's like if you're starting to edit, like don't worry too much about being like a good editor, but I do focus more on like having good audio. If anything, you should probably learn how to like correct audio before you learn to correct video, <laughs> ironically. So uh, for people that are starting to edit, yeah, definitely focus on your audio. So anyways, I, that's all I got for you. So uh, yeah, so yeah, more tutorials are coming and all the good stuff. But uh, like I said, I need to figure out a way to like... Uh, 
prepare myself better so like I can like uh, create a, a tutorial from like beginning to end in under two hours because uh, yeah like that last tutorial I did and like uh, me showing you how we, how I edit with my shortcuts and whatnot yeah it took me almost like six hours or more to like edit I can't remember exactly but it was just you know it was more time than I prefer to use in my personal time to edit you know primarily my videos which is just more of a you know a pastime type of thing <laughs> but anyways okay that's enough thanks for watching take care and peace